Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Wakanda World of Black Panther Omnibus, which is very, very cool. So without further ado, let's take a look at this book. Here is the cover of the book, and of course, as a big X-Men fan, I had to go with the cover that featured Storm. Here is the spine of the book. As you can tell, it's a thick book, and we've got this nice little purple here with a Black Panther image. Here is a very sleek image on the back of the book that features Black Panther and some other Wakanda characters that looks very, very cool. And it also says Wakanda forever. So first of all, please deal with me as I go through everything that's collected in this omnibus because there is a lot. So it starts off with Rise of the Black Panther, issue 1 through 6. Then we have Black Panther, World of Wakanda, issue 1 through 6. Then we have Black Panther and the Crew, issue 1 through 6. We have Black Panther, Long Live the King, issue 1 through 6. Black Panther, Annual Number 1. Amazing Spider-Man, Wakanda Forever. X-Men, Wakanda Forever. Avengers, Wakanda Forever. Black Panther vs. Deadpool, issue 1 through 5. Shuri, issue 1 through 10. Kill Monger, issue 1 through 5, Black Panther and the Agents of Wakanda, 1 through 8, King in Black, Black Panther, and The Last Annihilation, Wakanda. And I believe there's other material in here as well, collected from a few other places. So let's start with the general two big questions you might have, those being, what is this omnibus, and then is it worth picking up? Well, first, this is basically an anthology omnibus collecting a variety of series, as you can tell, that all have something to do with Wakanda. It essentially fleshes out a lot of different areas of the nation and gives us insight into its cultural practices and its history. Now, as for is it worth it, well I would say absolutely, because with this many different stories and creative teams in here, it might seem like a gamble, but I think the quality of most of the stories in here is very high, and I enjoyed reading them all, and like I mentioned, this does a lot to make Wakanda feel like a real place with a whole bunch of interdisciplinary moving pieces going on, and I just think it's a wonderful read, especially if you're someone who's planning on going to see the Black Panther sequel film in November too. Some particular series that I really enjoyed in here include the Rise of the Black Panther, which is almost a kind of fire and blood telling of the history of Wakanda, from Captain America meeting T'Challa's dad, to Wakanda becoming public as a nation and making humanitarian outreach efforts, and it was just a really satisfying review of the foundation of the Black Panther story as we know it so far. I also immensely enjoyed the World of Wakanda limited series in here too, because it fleshed out a really unique facet of Wakanda that I never thought too bureaucracy deep about, and and that is the Dora Milaje. And that storyline also features what I thought was a really cute and endearing relationship between two of those members. But fret not, it was not without its action, of course, because this is the Dora Milaje that we're talking about. Black Panther and the Crew was also a story that I think a lot of people will be interested in just because it features some cool team-ups, because that team is basically Black Panther, Storm, of course, Luke Cage, Misty Knight, and Manifold, and they're all sort of doing street-level stuff in that series, and it's just really interesting too so I recommend checking that one out as well. If, well, that is, if you don't plan on picking up this omnibus. Black Panther Long Live the King is sort of about, you know, Black Panther dealing with more Wakanda-centric issues, and one of those is sort of like, hey, we're the most advanced nation in regards to technology, but how do we deal with threats that are outside the realm of technology, like spirit energy and, and whatnot? So that's a cool question to explore in the Black Panther comics too, so that's an interesting read, of course. I should also mention, because I think a lot of people enjoy this character and will enjoy the series, there is is a Black Panther and Deadpool series in here. Now, I've never shied away from the fact that I'm not the biggest Deadpool fan. It's just not really my sense of humor. I feel like there's too much, like, randomness involved in it, and it's not chaos in the way that I like chaos. But, like I said, some people I think will really enjoy that, and I believe it's six issues in here that are Deadpool and Black Panther hanging out, basically. There's a Killmonger series in here as well, which is really, really cool and sort of recontextualizes the character, more bases him off of the MCU version, but no complaints here because I thought that was a really really unique version and nuanced version of the character as well so yeah I enjoyed the series there too I think it starts off a little stronger than it ends but definitely a really fun one to read to learn a little bit more about Killmonger and how they have moved forward with him throughout the books. The Shuri series in here too which is a character that I never thought too much about but I actually really like everything they explored here with her and kind of how the legacy of the Black Panther ripples and affects her and how she has to take some responsibilities on and I think it was just really nice to get 
get a spotlight on her so I could, you know, better understand her characterization, and it felt almost like a must-read for Black Panther comic fans too, as it does have some larger implications on, you know, the nation of Wakanda. But yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff in here, guys. Basically, something for everyone. There's symbiotes, there's Spider-Man team-ups, there's an Avengers story, well, there's multiple Avengers stories, there's isolated Wakanda stories, there's Wakanda history stories, there's just everything, and I think all the artists that worked on this really shine alongside the writers. Everything just feels curated in a very special way. So this was a surprise when they announced it. It seemed like kind of an odd choice for an omnibus collection, but it definitely makes sense once you've actually got your hands on it. So guys, please let me know if this is a book that you're planning on picking up, or just let me know if you've read it before or read any of these stories before. And I also want to know if you're excited for the Black Panther sequel movie um, that is coming out here in November, which will feature Namor, who is in a few of these stories as well. So like I said, if you want to just prep for that movie too, get some Namor reading in, get some Shuri reading in, get some Black Panther reading in, get some Dora Milaje reading in, then this is a book to go for. And honestly, just because of the nature of this book and how many characters are really in it, I'm sure you have at least one favorite character that is part of the Black Panther series or part of the world of Wakanda, haha, <laughs> that's the name of the omnibus. But there's also just so many other characters from different things that find their ways in this book, like in the Rise of the Black Panther series, there was also a whole issue that was devoted to like Black Panther and Storm, basically. And I was like, yes, Storm, like I already like what's going on with Black Panther and Wakanda, now we're getting an X-Men involved, and then there's Doom involved, and like I said, there's Namor involved, there's just a lot of cool stuff in this book. So yeah, it was just nice to see all the love that Wakanda is getting, all the attention that Wakanda is getting, that I might have missed because, you know, I only pick up singles of X-Men books, so I wasn't privy to all the crazy Wakanda limited series that were going on. And then also, guys, worth mentioning, there's some pretty cool extras in the back here, as most omnibuses have. There's some words from the creative teams, or writers, or artists, and then there's also just some design sheets that are always fun to look at. Thank you guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.